Hi Aquarius, my sun sign brothers and sisters, welcome to your week ahead taroscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. These are for your sun, moon and ascendant sign, check them out for all three so that you know which part of you I resonate with most as a reader. With that said, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, they help you help us all, should I say, on our paths to our highest vibrational good. So, let me just put the fan down because it's uh, being quite loud. So, uh, for your key to the week, uh, if you are a continued subby, you know Raffi loves you. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose, and this resonates, hit the subscribe button. Your key this week is the Temperance card. Finding balance in all of these different areas of your life is what you are striving for this week, and also... This will see you really thinking about your internal world. Remember the temperance card, if the magician is about as above, so below, the temperance card is about as within, so without, right? And so if there are situations in your life that are somewhat discordant or in turmoil, ask yourself what about your internal world is attracting that and therefore creating it, right? And the reason we say that is because like attracts like. So if your inner world is a mess, or is fractious and frenetic, your external world, right? You're gonna attract that to you. So you, you know, they say your vibe attracts your tribe. It's very, very true. So in all of these different areas of life, you're being asked to check your intention and your attention, all right? So uh, the other thing with the temperance card as well, I love this because it's the, the process of spiritual alchemy. And what that means is, it's the process of releasing or removing from within us what we know is no longer serving us moving forward. All right, because this card is about alignment. For your actions and options, you've got the devil card. So the devil card falls in the position of what you do, right? What you're doing. Where is it that you are being somewhat hard headed? Where is it that maybe you're telling yourself that there's only one way to do something? Um, what I feel from this then is that devil card is you kind of getting in your own way this week and it's going to be highlighted to you. And the beauty of this is if you are willing to practice some self-reflection to really dig deep into where this is coming from, you might actually be able to transcend it a lot quicker than you had hoped for. When it comes to uh, the options that are available to you, well, the option that is available to you this week is to demonstrate just how dedicated you are to doing or achieving something with your life or your world. For your communications and conversations, you've got the Ace of Pentacles. So this is all about the moolah, baby, all about the money. So. Um, when it comes to the career, the work, the communications, a lot of your communications are around new things, new ideas, which is great because I think this is what's going to break you out of this complacency. When it comes to those of you uh, that are studying or in some form of academia, this is a fresh start. It's a fresh start of the stu subject material. For a lot of you, this could be where you rededicate yourself to something that you've been studying, right? Where you really double down and say, okay, you know what? I've given it a fair run, but I haven't given it my best shot, right? And so this is where you get really honest with yourself and you start like putting your absolute best foot forward. When it comes to those of you that are um, employed by somebody else, for a lot of you, this could be that the employer is changing location. Maybe not necessarily you. So maybe you move departments and so you have to go to a different building. Um, I've seen this happen a lot as well with this combination, actually. Um, so maybe, yeah, you're changing the location. So it's not necessarily that you're changing the company. Maybe you're changing the position, changing the role, and that means that you have to change the location that you work at. And I think this is a good thing, right? A lot of you might think, well, you know, I'm comfortable where I am. I want to stay where I am, all the rest of it. But actually, what's going to serve you best is to change that location or a different, or like a change of scenery. When it comes to your, um, those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, this is an influx of new money, new business, and this is coming through that sense of alignment, but it's somewhat discordant because that devil card, it's almost like you're trying to use all of the old ways, all of the old traditions that have got you to this far, but if you want the new level, you're gonna have to find new ways of doing everything. The ace of pentacles, even though it's the earth energy, it is still something new, something different, something fresh.
the devil card is where we are too rigid, where we're too bound to something and we really have convinced ourselves there is only one way to achieve this and there really isn't. The temp Parents card is saying take what you've learned from the traditions and the tried and true and what has worked but now apply that to new ways new things new people new everything for yourself especially on a material level that's what's going to secure your financial future and destiny when it comes to those of you that are retired and no longer working it looks like a lot of you might be shifting or changing um the home at this point and you know what's really funny for those of you that are living like a six and six lifestyle i actually think this might be that you're at that changeover point so it's like you're going to your next place for the next six months lucky you right that's like my ultimate dream can you imagine six and six love that for your and as aquarians i think something like that is really important because we get itchy feet quite often for your love and relations you've got the wheel of fortune Wheel of Fortune with the Ace of Pentacles. This is lovely. So for those of you that are partnered, married, or in long-term commitments, your partner could be really absolutely killing it at work. They could be, you know, in a really good space. You've got the Wheel of Fortune with the Devil card here. So I do want to say for those of you that are partnered, married, or in long-term commitments, don't gamble with or on your relationship. And more importantly, don't gamble on or with money that you know if it's lost will cause a detriment to your living experience, especially for those of you that have got kids, etc. Now, for those of you that are single, this could be that you are connecting with somebody that is a lot of fun, but not very good for you, all right? Like that's just straight up. I'm giving it to you real to tell you as it is. Could be a lot of fun, could be very sexy, potentially even like really, uh, um, but in the long run, I don't think there's anything there. So I want you to be really mindful of this. Um, and also if you are sort of having one night stands and you know, stuff like that, because this combination can represent like a gambling addiction, I will say if you are, you know, interacting with somebody that you know is, you know, maybe the appeal is that they're not available or whatever the case might be, be careful because you might come out of it with more than you bargained for. All right. Um, now, with that said, let's have a look at your money and materials. For this, you've got the Knight of Cups. So there are financial blessings and offers coming your way. This is good resources that are making themselves available to you. When it comes to your, um, oh gosh, come on brain. When it comes to your, Oh my gosh, my brain's gone completely blank. When it comes to your money, your finances and your resources, this is an opportunity that comes directly to you. And it's one that you have been able to manifest into your world, whether this is more money, whether it's a, you know, a promotion. I mean, and these cards definitely speak to all of that. There's an influx of new resources and new ways to make money. What it's going to rely on is for you holding this new vibration long enough in order to see it through to completion. When it comes to your physical health and vitality, the Knight of Cups with the Temperance card, for a lot of you, I think this is you going to be, do going to be balancing out work and play or you know work yeah but you balance you know they say work hard play hard this is you balancing these two things out but it's also you balancing your uh, your intake when it comes to alcohol things like that i mean i don't really drink it's probably once every six weeks and even then like if i'm ever gonna go like for a blowout blowout it's like once every six months so you know and usually if i'm on holiday Go where they don't know you, darling. You can leave it all behind. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, when it comes to uh, another way that you might want to look at this as well is balancing out your hormones. All right. So if you're one of the ways, to, the best way to do that, obviously, I'm not a doctor. I can't give you medical advice. You know, disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. Um, but this might be a really good week to get like a hormone test done just to see sort of where your levels are at at the moment. And then when it comes to your home and environment, the Knight of Cups with the Temperance card, it looks like you find the place that really looks or feels like home to you. If that's not in the case of a move, then it means that you are improving the home that you're living in and it just feels right. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.